90 Nocturne Boulevard presents 1995. More delays for the space shuttle. That's it. You must equip. What's up with this virtual Game Boy? And comment to rumors of Royal Devore. Does that mean you pay for it and just pretend? And now back to the Prisoner of Hancock House. Season 1, Episode 14. Wake up! Sugar and spice and everything nice. No one's listening. Why did you show me that? Time's up. They'll be expecting us. No. I dislike being kept in the dark. How do you tolerate random, then, Professor? Mine. Come on, I need a phone. Look, just the last couple of nights while I've been here, I've been having these dreams. Not flashbacks, just jumbled stuff. But they leave me... terrified. Terrified? Of what? Random. <laughs> We're the good guys. Are you sure? Agent Cook showed me the psych exam of J.C. Hawk uh, from five years ago. It has nothing unusual on it. She seems suspicious. Yeah, I'll be right back with the coffee. Uh, may I? Yes, I'll grab enough for everyone. Well. Well, indeed. Not the introduction to random I intended for you. <laughs> Five years changed a lot of things. You think? Used to be less supervision, less oversight. Oh, so it's better now? That's not what I said. I... Come on. Where to? Okay... What's this? I've been waiting for the room to be cleared. Coffee? Leave it near the door. Help with the tape. Got it. This is one of our biggest all-purpose security rooms. Used for storage, holding cell, and occasionally karaoke. What are you outlining there? A game? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello? I I'm sorry, you must have the wrong room. Oh, no. Uh, she won't wake up. She's been like that for years. But you have to go. Oh, doctor, I I'm so sorry. No one told me about any consultation. It's fine. Why don't you stay? The kitchen was empty? Yes. Something? There was no food. None? Nothing at all. Not in the fridge, not in the shelves. The fridge was even unplugged. But Roger was still living there. Still alive. Until just a day or two before. I don't have any explanation for it. Are you good? Can we revisit the smell? It was actually very faint. It just hit hard when I first opened the door. Then it was... like it was... just gone. Can you describe it? I don't have a really broad, horrific smell vocabulary. It was, uh, slimy? And before you ask me to go sniffing dead things and other disgusting stuff to make a comparison, no. I utterly refuse. Understood. We'll hold off on that. Agent Zachary, where were we? Betty went for coffee and vanished. Mark entered the kitchen to check on her. And the rest of the team? Mark, 
The back door was about here. Got it. How about the fridge? Is it important? Everything is important. Until we're sure it isn't. Um, here, against this wall. Does everything else look about right? I mean, apart from the kitchen. Close enough. I mean, as close as I can remember. How did you... County records, plus your description. We'll fill in the upstairs in a bit. Join me in the hall, will ya? Can I assume the door is open? <laughs> You're hilarious. Get over here. Point out where everyone was when Roger appeared. We're not doing a full reenactment. I just want a better picture of things. Agent Morgan was here. I'll be her. I was here. Garrett. Garrett was... Over here somewhere? Uh, a bit to the left. No, no, my left. No, that way. And Agent Hawk? Right here. Will that be... Present. Of course. That leaves me to stand for the ghost. Nocturne Boulevards, The Prisoner of Hancock House, features Michael Coleman as Mark Stockman, Kimberly Poole as Agent Cook, Mark Olson as Agent Zachary, Rick Lewis as Professor Howell, also heard in this episode, Kyle Poole, Amber Lee, Pete Lutz, Paulina Logan, and Austin Beach. The Prisoner of Hancock House was written by Julie Hoverson. Sound editing was done by Julie Hoverson. The show's theme music was composed by Dane Russell Leonardson. Voices in the opening credits include Gwendolyn Jensen Woodard, Sarah Golding, Terry Cooper, and Julie Hoverson. The 19 Nocturne Boulevard theme, Netherworld Shanty, was composed by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. Sound effects were licensed from SoundSnap, Pro Sound Effects, and Free Sound Effects, or used under a Creative Commons license. All persons, places, and things in this episode are fictitious or used in a fictitious manner, and any resemblance to people living dead or undead is purely coincidental. Many thanks to our Patreon supporters. For a full list of cast members, and to find out how to help support the show, Please email us at 19nocturne at live.com or check out our Facebook page. We love to hear from people. Copyright 2019 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions. <laughs>